4GE Cafe Double Oven. If you buy this igniter you are probably going to need the bake shield as well. JWB 49K 10037 Range Bake Burner Shield Genuine Original Equipment Manufacturer, OEM. Part when you remove the bottom pan. Flip over the burner shield. See attached picture. In our case, the burner shield failed and that is what cracked and broke the igniter per husband. Both are easy to install like for like. He did say he needed to poke a hole in the shield because one of the four pre-holes weren't complete. A quarter inch nut driver makes the job a lot easier. Total install time for both. About 2 hours per hour research. This is a known issue with GE Cafe Double Oven Oven works great now. Used to replace igniter on Whirlpool Gas Double Oven range. Our OEM bottom igniter arced so bad it welded itself to the bottom of the oven. I had to knock it out with a hammer. This was super easy to install with hand tools. OEM igniter had a proprietary harness which I just snipped off and connected stripped wires with nuts. Mounting holes lined up perfect, just had to get a few new self tap sheet metal screws from hardware store, maybe 10 millimeters. I'm sure it saved me a couple hundred dollar sign on a service call or zero dollars s for a new oven. This was reasonably easy to install in my whirlpool range. There was a slight, brief smell of burning too hot plastic when I first heated the oven up, and the preheat bell rang twice, very unusual, but I ran it for 3 hours, lots of baking to do. Following that with no issues the picture shows my prior igniter at the bottom. There was additional insulation on the wires of the old igniter that didn't come with the this igniter. But it was not removable and I couldn't find any cautions online about additional insulation. I imagine that the insulation on this igniter is rated high enough that additional insulation is unnecessary. Many other replacement parts for various ovens looked similar.